my name is Dipal Borua, Deputy Managing Director, Gramin Bank, and the Founding Managing Director, Gramin Shukti, means Gramin Energy in Bangladesh. Basically, what we are doing in Bangladesh, 150 million people, 70 percent people have no electricity. So we are trying hard how to produce electricity from the sunlight. So we have a solar program, PV. So we are installing the system in the rural area, and people are buying it. We started in a market-based approach in 1996, 10 years back. So right now, we have 120,000 system installed. Every month, we are installing 4,000 system plus. And we are hoping it would be 10,000 within the next two years. So there is a huge demand coming out in the rural area. Initially, there was a problem financing. People are in developing country like Bangladesh. You need an upfront cash. So we grew up in a microcredit situation in Gamin Bank. We built Gamin Bank, Professor Yunus and myself also work with the Gamin Bank from day one in Bangladesh. I was a student to him in the economics department. So still I'm involved mm -hmm. as a, in a bank as a number two position. And Gamin Shukti is our baby, it's 10 years. Professor is the chairman, myself is the managing director, chief executive officer. So what we are trying to figure out in context to Bangladesh, uh, 150 million, 70 percent no electricity. So we are trying to figure out what are the alternative sources. One is the sunlight, another is wind energy, another is a biomass from the cow dung, poultry liters. The solar is very interesting. Started 10 years back uh, now. Uh, every month people are coming up in our unit offices in the ground level. Uh, they are meeting our engineers. They are installing the system. We give a loan to buy the system and they are paying monthly installment and kerosene price is going up. So instead of kerosene, they are buying the solar home system and they become the owner within three years. But the system can work 25 years. You know, this is a very high tech. In Bangladesh situation, people never thought about that the solar energy can be a cost effective. But we made it because we have a financing, we have a adaptive research, and also we are doing research with this social uh, activities like we are producing uh, solar technician in the rural area, even women, so coming up. And they can maintain the system, they can install the system in the rural area. And, in, and some of them, they become an entrepreneur, energy entrepreneurs. So this is an amazing experience in Bangladesh. Uh, and the story is coming up and people are uh, getting a confidence about the technology and financing is there. And our workers work day and night in the rural area and we are really thrilled about the uh, solar project especially. And we have other projects also. Are the villages buying it as co-ops or individuals? Now they are buying individually, but some of them, because the density is so high in Bangladesh, if you put the population of the world in the United States, density will be less than even Bangladesh. So uh, in the rural marketplaces, there are 50 shops. So they buy one system, they are connecting two, three shops at a time. In, even in the household level, they buy one system, they are giving light to two houses, three houses. So that depends on the size. We are offering 10 watt to 130 watt, 10 watt, 20 watt, 30 watt, 40 watt system, 50 watt, 75 watt, 80 watt. There are different systems. Uh, and the people coming up, according to their economic opportunity and uh, cap capability, they are buying the system. Most demand is 40 watt and 50 watt. Uh, 50 watt, they have a four light, one LED or two LED, and they're running a television. So television is one of the attraction in the rural area. And number two for lighting, for the children education. Mm -hmm. So and the, a small village market for extending working hours under light there. Uh, and also even in some electrified area also profitable because uh, in the evening there is no light. In Bangladesh, we call it load shedding. So they buy a system, instead of buying a candle, they need a 15 taka candle every day, every evening. So 30 days in 450 taka. But actually, they are buying solar, small solar home system. In a uh, backup, they have a light in the evening. So they are paying a 200 taka, 70 taka one dollar. So they are paying half, and instead of candle light. So it's, it's economically sensible also. I yeah. Uh, the Gamin Bank, we started in 1976. After 30 years, we won the Nobel Peace Prize, and we are disbursing 60 to 70 million U.S. dollars every month. And Gamin Shokti is, a, is a 10 years old only, uh, 11 years running. So what we got confidence, we can make available renewable energy to all the people of Bangladesh within 10 years. And it's feasible. And we are creating uh, jobs every month, 500 jobs. So we are hoping 
100,000 jobs we can create within a seven to eight years. So this is a fantastic. After microgrid, this renewable energy will be interesting. And you know, in the uh, country like Bangladesh on a, or in a developing country, there are digital divide. So now we are creating a energy available to the rural people, all people. At the same time, we are taking the technology at the industrial level, a mobile phone, a telephone ladies we have, they are uh, selling the services and also internet telephone lady become internet lady. So an energy is available, uh, uh, green energy. So I hopefully the young people after 10 years, uh, 15 years, they will be born with all education, knowledge, with all capability. There is no divide, no division, no divide. So that's we are seeing a better environmentally sustainable world in the future. Mm -hmm.